you see, I believe Cuba is going to be one of the places that um, we use for um, a stand-up place where we can. We're, we're, I believe when America goes up, and it is, you can better believe that America is going to go up in a blaze of glory, buddy. There will be no inhabitants here. I believe it's just going to be annihilated. Um, so you said earlier uh, about the say these the dinner or the food of the of the aliens. Uh, do do we or does this humans deliver their food to them, or is it in conjunction with them grabbing their own food? I think it's both. And so, if we don't give it to them, do they uh, do they strike back at any way? I think they do. And- And think about the animal mutilations. Um, There are top secret films of them things being raised up in the air and it happened. I've seen them. Mm -hmm. And um, I've seen this square looking box go over top of this cow on a film. I didn't see it in real life. It's a top secret film. And this cow was lifted up into the box and then set back down and there was no blood, and it was perfectly laser cut. And I, I believe there's a certain, I mean, there has to be a certain part of these animals that they need. Mm-hmm. Because it seems like a specific yeah. things that they take. Yeah. Am I correct? I mean, Yeah, no, you're down. right. There, there are specific parts, and there, in many cases, it drained of blood and, and no marring, like laser precision of removal of organs and different parts, and it's, yeah, and, and no, there's no blood. Yeah, I'm, and, and somebody, I, I don't know, maybe I asked the question. It seemed like we, I asked the question, uh, why don't they just raise their own cattle on their own planet, and why do they got to take ours, you know? Why Why would you want to do that when you can just let somebody else do it? Mm-hmm. Or you can just blame it all on, on the tuba robber. And that's a better story I know about. That was an experiment gone wrong along with Bigfoot a long time ago. Oh, really? Is Bigfoot a reptilian? No, but he was the CIA experiment gone wrong. Was he supposed to be the, like the ultimate uh, it was, soldier? It was a in genetic the... engineering mistake. Really? Wow. Okay, well, never never heard that it one before. It was and, yeah. I, and I seen one, and thank God. They're worse looking than aliens. That's the scariest thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we have this question. Do reptilians control our nuclear weapons? Yeah. Yes, they do. So they're not going to let us shoot one off unless they agree to it? That's right. Um, Notice that, um, do you remember not many years back that the UFOs mm-hmm. disabled our launch capabilities at one time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it was Wyoming. Mm-hmm. They flew over the silos and shut them down. Yeah, that's a uh, that's, that's a widely known story. Yeah, that that's true. But you know, it just seems why would they uh, allow us to have nuclear weapons at all? Because they need them at some point. Because their their spaceship ray won't work. These people, these things, run on pride. And demonic things, that, you know, uh, one of the things that God hates is pride. And I think they take pride in knowing that they control us. And why why, why use their cattle? Well, how are they going to raise cattle? Mm-hmm. And what are they going to do with that? They live in the ocean. They can't raise cattle and they have to show themselves and feed them and stuff. Just let us do it. Hmm. What's, well, what's they, the, you know, they, they want to, you know, they, uh, I'm sure that they sit up there in their high places and they think, and they laugh at us thinking, you know, look at that. He does exactly what he's told. Some, I've read a transcript uh, of, uh, of astronauts on the moon saying that they saw a... Uh, they got firefights up there. Well, so, so are you saying that our, our astronauts brought weapons on the moon and had a fight? They got fired upon. Um, I heard the uh, our, I heard the audio archives of it. 
and I don't know if they're declassified or not. But they weren't when I heard them. Um, and they're saying, and I remember them saying, "My God, my God, we're being fired upon." And uh, Houston says, "From what? I don't know. Um, there's things up here that we can't describe. We're being fired upon, and they were running for it. And I mean, it was a firefight, and one of them said." I've never seen anything like it. Do I know what is it? He said they look like tracer bullets, but they're faster. And when you say fire, I believe that's what made him get the heck out of Dodge. Yeah, I always wondered. I always wondered what what was taking a picture of the limb as it blasted off. It's, maybe that was a maybe that was a reptilian holding the camera for us. I don't know. But so let me. So but you say there's a fire fight, but is a one way fire fight, or do we shoot back? We didn't, as far as I know, it didn't sound like we sat back with what? I mean, if you had a, even a gun, you know, you're in space, you fire a bullet and on the moon, it's going to go in infinitely, right? It's never going to stop. Right. But, I mean, and I've seen some pictures, some films of it, too. I may as well go that far. I'm not going to, I'm not going to disclose where I'm afraid to. Yeah. But I, I, it was just a few seconds of it, and it was a fire. Uh, All right, I well, wasn't shot back, but I had some. Really? Because it was nothing, in other words, well, I antagonized them anymore, but I'm sure that's what got them in the heck out of Dodge. And I think that they didn't like the idea of us coming there, and that's why it went, uh, that's why that came to a halt. So, so if we go back, we're going to have bigger guns? No, we're going to be allowed to come back. To help to help them mine the moon. What are they doing? What are they doing up there? I don't know. I I wish I could tell you. I really do. All right. We have this question. Um, earlier, you said that things are going to start happening this year. Uh, could you elaborate just a little bit more on that? What is going to start happening this year? I believe nuclear war and martial law. I believe we're going to have a terrible terrorist attack coming. Is there, what do you think people should do to prepare for that? Pray and listen for the instructions of the Lord. I really, that's a really complex question, Daniel. It really is. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, when you look at Exodus, they took all their belongings and stuff at the end of 40 years, would they have the clothes on their back? So how much can you carry? before you're right down and slow down and if you believe in God and and you're running from this thing um, I, I would be more inclined to depend on him to worry about it so I'd you, be worried about just getting my rear end out of here so would you say and as others have suggested to get out of the cities to take your money out of stocks and these these types of things are you saying that yeah, I would convert, I would definitely convert my money into, into gold uh, coins mm -hmm. and, and what about um, what about uh, moving, say? Is, are there safe areas that the aliens don't Petra, know about? Jordan, Petra, Jordan. Okay. Is, is that a particular place where the aliens can't find you? I believe that's a place that the One World Order, North Satan, hell, will have dominion over it. I believe it will become, at that time, for God's people, invisible on the map, that, like it doesn't exist and I believe when we reach that point that we will not know sorrow and we won't even know what's going on and it will look like a big fireworks display to us. We won't even know what's going on. I really do. All right. Uh, we have this other question here, and this goes back to the, the blood you were talking about. Uh, what is it about the blood that they seem to insist on getting? Innocent. And I wasn't really clear on that. You say that's running in the blood. Is it, is it a is it a DNA sequence? Is it no. a what is it? It's a child. 